Welcome, welcome everybody to this series, Study in Slovakia. Study in Slovakia is about haircutting. And if you really think it's about haircutting, it is not. It's about study in Slovakia. Slovakia. Isn't that right? Aviem. Yes, it is. So, anyways, this hopefully interesting and fun show is sponsored to you from the website studyinslovakia.sk. They'll help you with form police, they'll help you with paperwork, any issues at all, studyinslovakia.sk will help you in your student life. So, are you ready to do this? I'm ready. All right, hoo hoo, let's start the show. So welcome back to the show. We are here with our amazing guest. Amazing. 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 The amazing Aviem. And picture, there's gonna be music at this part. Dramatic music, flying special effects. Like, I'll have a bird right oh, here. Do you, see, do you see, oh, you will get that. And there's an imaginary bird on your shoulder right now. You will get all that thanks to the power of editing. Amazing. Tell this audience here about yourself. I'm studying veterinary medicine. Mm -hmm. I'm married. I mm -hmm. have a kid. A kid? No, because I will tell the truth, audience. I actually have a wife too, and I have two kids. And I've gotten this. Like, you're at school, and they're like, my god, you're married? And then they're like, my god, you have a kid? And Listen. they look at you like your life is over. They're like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry that's, that you have a kid. That's not all, that's not all. What, tell me more, what, is, what else? You, when you're fresh out of high school in Israel, yes. uh, you are drafted to a military service of three years. Mamma mia! Yeah. And then you're like, <laughs> you have to figure what you're going to do with your life because you don't have a lot of money and you have to work and yeah. everybody in Israel is going to college or university or whatever yes. you want to call yeah, it. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, bachelor degree is useless in Israel. You have to have at least a master or a PhD or something, unless yeah. you have like a professional... Uh, like uh, like plumbing, planning. trade yeah. school, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have to figure out what you're going to do with the rest of your life because you don't have a lot of time. Yeah. And making money is, is not easy. So you're wasting a lot of your, your young years and eventually you find yourself after you study two years in the Czech Republic and study a lot in Israel. Mm -hmm. And you come here and you're 30 and you have a wife and a kid. Hey, hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that, but <laughs> what I'm going for is, is like... The gray hair. You, you, you get here, and everybody like, you're 30, and you have a wife and a kid, and everybody here is like 19. <laughs> How do you balance those two I'll worlds of what. school, school life, and family life? If, if I was single, I, I would have much more time studying, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm in like 50%. Uh, 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 efficiency in my work yeah for, for studies if you're going for a long studies like veterinary medicine it's like five and a half years yeah. medicine is, is longer yeah, I'm six so you might want to reconsider marrying while you're studying but if you already married don't be afraid okay yeah when we are getting kids in the picture it takes even more of your time I asked a few of the experienced students uh, what do you think about getting a dog here? And they were like, dude, don't get a dog. It will take so much of your time. And they're like, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I have a kid. <laughs> they were like, you did what? <laughs> I have birds, okay? I, I breed parrots. Yeah. My particular breed of birds live for 20 years. Okay. If you take good care of them. Cockatoos live for like 60 years, mm -hmm. okay? Churchill's cockatoo died just a few years back. Mm -hmm. If you have a Macau, it's like 120 years. Macau! Yeah, if, if you get something like this, like, if you're not ready for a kid, don't take a Macau. Oh, yeah! Okay? But if you think, like, a dog is a responsibility, that responsibility is going to end, like, real fast. <laughs> that is true. Okay? And it's not like, in, in matters of education, you train a dog once, okay? Mm -hmm. A kid you have to, like, educate for the rest of your life. That's true. While you get educated <laughs> from your own parents. It would surprise you, but... Surprise me. 
medical studies, mm -hmm. human medical studies, is copying its material from veterinary medicine, not the other way around. Okay? Because okay. first Those there are was, some big words you yeah, say. No, in no. There. First there were like veterinary medicine, like real medicine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and and for humans there were people who are like Playing with yeah. smoke and, and, oh, and statues. I, I, get, I get what you say. Like, for example, in yeah. the Middle Ages, yeah. it was like the only doctors were like dentists and grave diggers. That was the only one for humans. So it was like they studied... You uh, saw the yeah. Black Plague uh, uh, doctors. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm going to wear a mask who's going to scare the, the, the illness away. Yes, yeah. But when you're treating like animals, and like it, it's a human in front of an animal. Yeah. Like, an animal can talk. I'm going to apply truth and facts to it because it cannot tell my secrets okay so first of all there is like similarities in the anatomy of, of i want to say all animals but the fish and the human is not the same but let's yeah. say most animals okay i can find an, alo an al analogy okay or an I analogy think. analogy okay. I think, yeah. between the bones of you and a cow and a dog yeah, and a mouse yeah. And, and whatever, right? Horses came from space. <laughs> okay? Horses has the Wait. most weirdest anatomy. Like, you still have an analogy, but their anatomy is so weird. Like, I would not, how so? Because I would not pick horses. I would have picked a platypus, but not a horse. Yeah, a platypus is like, okay, think of mammals as, a, let's say, a group of animals that mm -hmm. 60 million years ago, 70 million years ago, started to divide. We are part of, of the largest branch. Yeah. A lot of branches got extinct. And platypus, and let's say there's this kind of uh, hedgehog, I think, we still laying eggs. And okay. marsupials are smaller branches who survived, but I guess they're not doing so well now. Yeah. Um, but they are still like they still make sense. Horses is like herbivore who is built like a predator. And if you see a skull of, of let's say a cow and a human and, and a dog, you'd see mainly the same holes, the same bones, the same structures. Horses is, is a completely different story. They are built so different, like Probably there are more animals who are mm -hmm. way different, but from what we study, horses are so hard. And I guess this is the reason why horse veterinarians are so rich. Mm. Nobody wants to study uh, uh, horse veterinary medicine. It's very hard. And very specialized, I yeah. guess. Everything kills a horse. If it works too little, it dies. If yeah. it works too much, it dies. If it eats... <laughs> Too little green, it dies. If it heal, it's too little yellow, it dies. You should make the like there is some special hot meshes. Cows has a very, very, very hard diet to make, but horses as well. Everything kills a horse. Hmm. They cannot vomit. I did not know that. Yeah. Uh, if a horse vomits, like veterinarians will look like, what's going on? Ah, uh, that's very, very <laughs> bad. Yeah. In terms of veterinary medicine, you as a foreigner, like, what advice would you give, uh, let's say, even from Israel or somebody from around the world about coming to study veterinary medicine? Don't get hung up so hard and tight on your culture and, and your habits. Hmm. When I came here, I went to the supermarket at first and... I just, I, I wanted to bang my head against the wall because I was looking for things that weren't available here. <laughs> and eventually I was like, dude, just let it go. You're in a foreign country. It should be like a new experience for you. Try something local. Maybe you like it, maybe you won't, but at least try everything. Okay. What's something local here that you've come to like? Here you have like croissants. In Slovakia, which are so better than in Israel. In Israel, it feels like they are making it just out of like plain bread mm -hmm. or puff pastry. Here, it's like just like eating a cloud, like really in comparison to Israel. It's so good. Like mm -hmm. every time I go to Israel, I'm like, I miss some of the stuff from Slovakia. Mm. And look, 
I, I learned that some things you cannot find here and you should just bring it with you when you come back from your home country, okay? Yeah. Like, there, I, I couldn't find one place who makes falafel as good as you will find in Israel. And it's really, it's so easy to make. And I make it at home. Yeah. You bring stuff with you, like a lot of spices that you cannot, just cannot find here. Yeah. And you can find stuff here that you cannot find in Israel as well. But when I cook here, uh, I, I can make a larger variety of things because in Israel it's harder to find stuff that you can find here. Here you cannot find stuff that you can find in Israel. And altogether, like, it began as something that you feel like I'm not eating as much because uh, my possibilities are limited. Mm -hmm. But after you just get to know, uh, like, you get localized here, it gets better, much better. Mm. Like, I, I really, 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 really enjoy, like, the pizza here. The pizza is in Israel, I thought was good, but it's, <laughs> it's not good, really. Yeah. If, you go to, if you ever go to Israel, don't order pizza. Oh, thank you guys. Once again, welcome back. And uh, well, the last question I want to ask you is, you've been all around the world and uh, you've been on a great journey. And like, what do you think has changed for you uh, all these years of studying? I learned the hard way that you can be confident. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you want to be a doctor or a veterinarian, it will not happen unless you want it. Like, you really need to want it because pressure and hard times are, are, are sure to come and you're not stupid if you're having a hard time studying, okay? It's a lot of material and this medical degrees are built in a way that it's nearly impossible to pass. Um, don't try to get the best results at your first year. And the most important thing I learned is you can make the, the, the biggest plans in the world but you have to be dynamic things change mm -hmm. like if i if i'd be able to follow the plans i made when i was 21 i'd be a veterinarian already okay you cannot plan success okay you cannot plan uh, uh, <coughs> a situation in which you will succeed every time mm -hmm. like I planned that I will just be good enough to study in Israel, then I planned I'll just be good enough to, to do a bachelor degree in biology in Israel, but my grades wasn't good enough for veterinary medicine in Israel, so I, I terminated it. Then I was planning that everything is going to be so cool and smooth in the Czech Republic, Yeah. and it, it wasn't, okay? Because, Life happens, yeah. yeah. And now I'm planning to, to, to finish my studies here in Slovakia and everything is, is wonderful. People are nice. Mm -hmm. the studies are hard, but it's, it's, I, can, I can deal with that. Okay? Okay. If you sit and study, you will succeed. You will have to want it, but don't plan too much because you don't want to get disappointed. Okay, look at us. <laughs> we are over 30. Okay, we are married. Yep. I always thought as, as a teenager, man, I'm probably going to meet the, the woman I'm going to marry in veterinary medicine. Mm -hmm. And she'll love animals just like me, and she will love medicine just like me. And, and we'll fall in love, and it will be so romantic, and, and we'll have our journey together. But then you realize that most girls and in medicine, Don't worry, your wife's not behind you. Medicine, <laughs> medicine and veterinary uh, uh -oh, and uh -oh, veterinary uh -oh, uh -oh. Are, are, are crazy as well. <laughs> well, fortunately, my wife's not in medicine, so I'm not in trouble right now. Yes. So. <laughs> yeah, uh, but, but life happens. And you yeah. meet people and you fall in love and everything is, is great. But you don't know what's going to happen. Mm. You do know what you want. You'll have to want it. Don't plan it. Just have enough resources and know your destination. You cannot know which trail is going to take you there.
You have a general direction, okay? Don't plan too much of it. Yeah? <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> wing it! <laughs> All right, <laughs> like I'm going to wing this outro right now. So though that, thank you for everything today. The, this was no problem at all. This was, I can say, a pretty interesting journey we talked about today. Yeah, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the interview and enjoy the show. Uh, please leave a comment. Please subscribe and please continue to support and check us out. Thank you for the interview. Anytime. Uh, my name is Peter, and also don't forget to check out the website studyinslovakia.sk, and we will definitely see you guys next time. Take care.